You know who's watching all of this very closely seen is parents and teachers because their big question is when will it be safe for kids to return to the classroom? And a group of educators and doctors met today to talk about those state benchmarks that you've been mapping out for us and they say it's really unclear and not only that it might only accelerate not slow the spread of the virus. Carissa Planalp has a look at the concerns tonight and also the government response. Will masks be required and which students will be returning to the classroom as early as next week? That's just some of the confusion around benchmarks that will determine when and how schools reopen. There has to be um, a reflection that uh, there's clarity between what's optional and what's not optional what's a, a guideline and what's a, um, a recommendation. Dr. Dion Mills is part of a work group asking for stronger language on mandatory masks. Um, Tolleson Union High School board member Devin Del Palacio says the state's plan for opening schools ignores a shortage in staffing and PPE. We're, we're shorthanded and we're expected to do more with less. And we're expected to have staff who are not experts in this area step up. Today, Arizona's Department of Education clarified masks will be required in schools and said districts should adopt formal policies for mask wearing. Though Arizona schools were expected to offer in-person instruction as early as next Monday, the state agency says no school community has met all benchmarks to open up. Our kids are suffering and parents and families are suffering. A group of parents points to one major question that remains. What are working parents supposed to do if they can't stay home with their kids until benchmarks are met? Parents will rally tonight at the Capitol, demanding more support for families. I think a lot of people are happy staying online and there is an option for them. But a lot of people do not have the option to work online with their kids. And so there has to be some sort of solution for them. Carissa Planel for Arizona's Family.